<laughs> There's the N cube in the house. Carl, Joshua, and Kube. Yes. Hey, does your mother say? Only, my mom only uses my full name. Now man. they use my full name. <laughs> like they actually use the full name because they, they have no choice. You've met uh, our Bob. Yes, we we yeah. You guys have your your Bob is a very friendly Bob. He's a lovely Bob. I'm not saying Bob. other Bobs are unfriendly, but there's certain Bobs that even are built. our Bob rolled yeah. his eyes at you yeah. just now. <laughs> Do you find that there's a lot to laugh about in Zim? What started your career? What, wow. what made you start making other people laugh? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe <laughs> is just funny. Like you walk out and it's just funny. Like we don't have the thing that you guys have in South Africa, the um, electricity Currency. and stuff. Okay. And, yeah, yeah, and water. Like you open the taps and it's not, you don't expect uh, th Please, that was an ironic to... laugh. Eh? Yeah. That was a very ironic no, laugh. No, because you yeah. open the taps and you feel like you're in an airport because you don't know with, with airports, do you, do you fist pump or do you, do you, <laughs> do you <laughs> like nothing, and nothing comes out. And then you get a notice in the newspaper <laughs> saying you have no water for the next two weeks. So. Was it tough? That being said, the conditions that you've had to start your career in, talk us through your trajectory. Did you feel like you had made it in Zim before you branched out? Did you have to come to South Africa to make it in Zim? Well, well thankfully, I'm a second generation comic. So my dad was a, was a comic, but wow. he did it for free. It wasn't something you could do for a living. So I waited until he died and then stole his jokes to start my career. <laughs> no, like literally, because I knew you couldn't come back for royalties. And, and so, <laughs> so I realized that it, it wasn't going to work in, <laughs> in, in Zim. But thankfully, you guys have people like Trevor Noah, Loiso Gola, Kagi Soledika, people I've been watching. And I thought the best move was to come to South Africa to learn. So we learned at like, you know, Parker's Comedy Club, Cape Town Comedy Club also gave us uh, opportunities to perform there. Um, the Goliath Comedy Club that's just opened up. So yeah, South Africa is, yeah, exactly, you know, like. <laughs> How important is it for you guys to have a collective, to have those mental relationships within the comedy field? Oh, it's, it's absolutely everything. I mean, like right now what's happening in the African comedy space is that Africa is kind of treating itself like the United States. So we've removed the borders and now we're establishing a comedy circuit across the continent. And so the stories are so different. The taboos are different in each country. And, and so like, uh, you know, there's this movement starting in South Africa and there's a movement coming from Nigeria and it's all kind of clashing somewhere in the middle. And, and then you've got Trevor Noah sitting in the US and he's still calling himself an African, which I love. He hasn't yeah. been Americanized in that process. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you say, um, okay, the, the, nothing is off limits for you. Are there things off limits for your audiences? In South Africa, are there certain jokes that don't fly? What, what areas do you start to get nervous? Do you take a little breath? <gasps> okay, let me try right. the joke. Let see. me try the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's weird. Uh, firstly, uh, when you're in, Zim in, in Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe is obviously uh, off limits and anything around Robert Mugabe. So even a pothole can be connected to a minister was connected to the president, so that's off limits. Um, so coming to South Africa, this is the part where I get like freedom. I'm like, yeah, I can do white jokes, I can do colored <laughs> jokes, I can do. So race is quite an, an, an interesting thing here in in in, in South Africa. And we love it. I think we love to laugh at ourselves yeah. now more than ever. No, no, absolutely. Like uh, coming to Cape Town, it's great for, for me being being black because we we get to see white people doing cool stuff and uh, like get yeah, to see white people. yeah, because oh, they're touching the water and like putting their feet in water. This is Not in this water, thing. buddy. Like, Don't yeah. touch the water, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. So just quickly again, you're going to be breaking a Guinness World Record. And yeah. I say you will be because this yeah. is fait accompli, my brother. You're yes. going to do this. Yes, yes, we'll put it out uh, So there. give us the details. How okay. can we support you? Okay, so basically, um, you tell a friend to come to the shows, buy tickets to come to the shows. Those are some of the requirements by, by Guinness. Uh, like day one is in Cape Town, so we're at Cape Town Comedy Club and, and Beer House, and then we move to Joburg, then we move to Zimbabwe, which is Harare. There's a part awesome. where, where we do like a couple of cities in between and then end in Victoria Falls. So the issue is for people to kind of follow what's, what's going on. We're using the hashtag break the world record. That's the uh, way we're, we're doing it. Clever so. around the Olympics. Yeah. Clever. Yeah. <laughs> no, one, no one's going to pick that up. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to give you the opportunity now to prove your chops. All right. right. You will have noticed that we have our Omar Dipping yes. Wall of Fame. Yes. Every incredible person that has come through our studio has shown us their trademark dip. Right. And I have a feeling that you got something special within you. Yeah, absolutely. A record breaking yes. dip uh, here. So uh, I'm going to ask you okay. to dip an Omar, not dip yeah. a Bob. But to dip an Omar Rusk. Okay, yeah. and there's your cup of coffee. So take it away. Yeah, so part of our visa requirements to come into South Africa, you know, it's uh, really difficult for Zimbabweans to, to do that. So the first uh, procedure, because I, I normally like to get, uh, get two at, at the same time, because that represents each foot um, as you're dipping it into the Limpopo. So you basically, you know, because you have to test for crocodiles. So you kind of have to just a little bit at a time and just like, just make sure like nothing just is going to come up and kind of grab on, on there. And then, um, and, and 
and then you go for the full dunk, and which is like, so you dunk it like, whoa, not yet. So uh, <laughs> you're not really sure if that if, if that's gonna happen, and that that's basically like that's the first stage, and then when when it enters the the uh, the mouth, so you have to do it like one foot at a time because some people haven't made it across the border, so you have to honor them in this particular point. And uh, this is this is for my ancestors, uh, as you know, like my my grandfather was a was a thief in South Africa, ran away to Zimbabwe, changed his name to Nube, so we don't really know. So I'm really appealing, like hopefully if I can be on Kumbule Kaya, if they can uh, help connect me. So connect no, I, me. I, I These are two generations. This, do I call together. this the generational depth, the ancestral it, it depth? It is, it, it is, because it joins the two forces together. And it's like, it's it's poetry at the end of the day. It kind of softens the, the hard, the hardships that Zimbabweans oh, have, have gone through. And, and hopefully like democracy, which is the coffee, it, it just kind of brings it all together. This is the new South African Zimbabwean <laughs> depth. Can I hear it for <laughs> the ancestral depth? Paul, you are a legend. I can now understand how you can make someone laugh for seven straight days. Go out and break that world record, my brother. So awesome to have met you. You are now part of the Espresso family. And I think you sit at the top of our Omar yes, dipping wall of fame. Can please, I add a round you. of applause, please? So is this the point where I get a visa, though? Because I, I really need the visa. Dip again, like, start dipping again. Yeah. Oh, well, from that culinary conundrum to answering a couple of your culinary <laughs> questions. <laughs> Best up ever! <laughs>